Alright guys, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Pocket 6K and the Pocket 4K's ability to recover uh, data or image. Now I was editing this and I was just going to make this the traditional examples demo, but I think it makes more sense if I, guys, if I show you guys this in post-production in DaVinci Resolve. So you can see the live waveform and you can kind of see what I'm doing with the image. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I have here is the B-RAW for the Pocket 6K. You're going to see the settings is ISO 448 and uh, 1.7 on the aperture, which is technically 1.8. And then you have the Pocket 4K here, same exact thing. Cinema DNG, this one, without speed booster. This is without speed booster. Uh, Sigma 1835, 1.8, and then ISO 400 as well. Now, you're going to notice, and this is really, I kind of need help on this one. Um, if you look on the Pocket 4K image right here, and then you look at the Pocket 6K, the Pocket, I'm sorry, the other way around, this is the Pocket 4K, you're going to see that it's much brighter than the Pocket 6K. The settings are all the same. The same ND filter was installed on both lenses. So the only explanation I have about, I mean, the only explanation I can come up with this is it's because the DR is distributed differently, slightly differently. If you look here on the Pocket Cinema Camera 6K, you'll see the ISO 400, uh, 5.9 on the highlights, 7.5 in the shadows. Now we'll go to 4K, you'll see that it's 5.5 and then 7.6 in the shadows. Honestly, that's the only way I can explain this because I, I, I got nothing. Maybe you can explain it better. Oh, sorry. The next we're going to do is um, I'm going to try to recover this image here obviously is overexposed because uh, we're testing that overexposure right. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go through it real quick. We're going to work on a Pocket 6K real quick. Uh, Alt S. Now, this is not a color correction tutorial whatsoever. I'm just going to show you how much we can recover uh, between these two cameras. Let's go ahead and Pocket 6K filmed extended video 4. We're going to drop the ISO down to 100. All right, you can see there it's pretty nice. Highlight recovery. All right, awesome. It's there. Now let's drop the exposure down. And I'm going to try and kind of like remember Alt S. I'm going to create a new node. I'm going to try and remember what it looked like when I shot it. So let's see. It's too cold. All right. That looks good for now. Like I said, it's not a color correction tutorial. Um, let's Alt F4. And you can see. It got pretty good friggin' detail back. Uh, I'm gonna uncheck the highlight recovery, and if you don't see that difference, it's right here. Look at here and look at here. When clicking that on and off, you'll see that it gains the detail back. Now, I usually like my clouds or my sky around 896, so that's why it's sitting there. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the Pocket 4K now. And you can see, like I said, it's brighter. Alt S, let's go ahead and load the Blackmagic Design LUT for this. Pocket 4K film extended video. That's uh, completely overexposed. That's what you're seeing on the screen when you're recording. <laughs> Pretty scary. So let's go ahead and drop the ISO down. Highlight recovery. And let's start dropping exposure as well. Same exact thing. All right. Okay. Go ahead and Alt S. Create a new node. Drop this down. And then bring this up to similar to 896. All right, so this is where we're at right now. And right now, it looks like crap, right? So let's go ahead and do 4,500, I think. Let's cool it down a little bit. 10, maybe even more. For some reason, that Pocket 4K recorded much warmer. Okay, so here, here's what we're dealing with. Now, what I'm going to do is my favorite slider here in Cinema DNG for the Pocket 4K is this highlight slider. Like, watch what happens. Boom. All the highlights just got recovered even more, right? So if you're looking at the difference, you'll see that it's huge. You can see the brick on the Pocket 4K. Let's go ahead and go back up. And here, here is the conclusion that I kind of came up with and that I kind of decided to go with. I can recover the Pocket 6K as much as this. I can do that too. 
but it's not as easy as sliding using that slider there. So I'm going to try to match that, right? This right here has a little bit more detail. Oh, I keyed it. There you go. All right, you see that? Pocket 4K, pocket 6K. So since, that, since the slider's not there, I'm just going to go ahead and drop it down. And you can already see it. It's coming there. It's coming back, right? Now the pocket 6K has more detail in the bricks. But at the same time, you can do that for the pocket 4K too. So that's pretty much the dilemma, right? So the pocket 6K recovers it slightly better because as you can see here in the sky, and the sky is your best friend. But then again, it's how you shot it as far as ISO goes, right? But this is the native ISO 400. You're gonna see that this is a little bit more blown out than this, right? You can't, oh, you can actually see it in this curve. There's more detail. And then the Pocket 4K really kind of pushes up there. So yes, the Pocket 6K recovers better, I guess, but not that much, in my opinion, right? I could be wrong. So the second set here is pretty much ISO 800 shot ISO 800 because as you can see, if I go here, the ISO 800 is 6.5 instead of 5.5 on the highlights, 6.6. .6. I mean, 6K, 5.9 to 6.9. So you get more in the highlights and less in the shadows. That's why I have that. Let's go ahead and copy these two. Control one, control two. And there you go. The Pocket 6K recovers even more in the highlights. And let's go ahead and bring this up to our 896. Okay, you see that? That is gorgeous. And then the shadows, we're gonna have to lift a little bit because we did take some DR there. All right, same thing here. It's pretty darn similar, but the Pocket 4K just recovers it a little bit less in my opinion and this is without speed booster by the way um this chart right here is the same exact thing now you're gonna see this black thing here because when you have cameras side by side you know you're not gonna see a part of it so let's go ahead and do control one control two and you know that's obviously too dark let's go ahead and reset this here I'm gonna reset this here and uh, let's increase this ISO to like 250. And we'll do 250. Again, I'm gonna make this bigger. And there's no fill in here. There's no bounce or anything like that. This is, that's that's as dark as it can get. Um, you can lift it up a little bit more if you want, obviously. But, you know, let's go lift this up a little bit. It's just insane <laughs> how much you can recover with raw, be raw and cinema DNG. I mean, how can how can you not love that, right? So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, I really wanted to show you guys in post because it just makes more much sense, so you can kind of see uh, how I'm deciding things. Because if I just showed you a bunch of clips simultaneously. You're not going to know what happened behind it. Um, let me know and uh, go ahead and download the footage so you can play around with it a little bit. And let me know in the comments to see if you guys are coming up with the same verdict. Pocket 6K recovers just slightly better than the Pocket 4K.